today I'm going to walk you through one of the most popular towns on the Oregon coast. You won't want to miss this one. Stick around. the channel living on the Oregon coast or if you're new to this channel living on the Oregon coast and you want to see more videos about what it's like to eat sleep play all the pros and cons of living on the Oregon coast we release videos every single week we've got over a hundred videos on our channel so make sure and subscribe there's about 1500 people that call Cannon Beach uh, home according to the Census Bureau might be a little bit less than that a lot of second homes here Cannon Beach probably most well known for its iconic haystack rock we're about an hour and a half west of Portland uh, in Clatsop County, about 20 minutes south of Seaside. Manzanita is about uh, 20 minutes south of here. The name comes from a cannon that uh, washed up on the uh, beach in the mid 1800s from a sunken US Navy ship. The uh, 235 foot tall rock uh, is probably one of the most iconic uh, rocks or images for all of Oregon. It's designated Oregon Marine Garden and uh, National Wildlife Refuge. And probably if, if I could say if there was one kind of downside uh, to Cannon Beach, it is going to be, uh, and you'll see it throughout the video, the congestion. Definitely one of the most crowded beaches along the Oregon coast. That rock and the tide pools uh, bring quite a few people into it. This is probably the most vibrant town along the Oregon coast uh, of this size, known for its shops, uh, especially its art shops got a strong smell in the air of uh, fresh waffle cones. There's also a lot of great restaurants here too. Great coffee shops. We've got those quintessential Oregon uh, candy shops that, where you can get some uh, saltwater taffy that you're gonna have to stop at. And because it's so popular, I mean, that's really what uh, contributes to a lot of this congestion. Probably the biggest uh, downside of Cannon Beach. And I'm going to get into the real estate market towards uh, the end of this video as well. If you come to visit here, you'll definitely want to visit uh, Acola State Park, which is just to the north of us. I actually went up there right before this video to grab some footage, but unfortunately it was a little bit too foggy up there. It's just about a five or six minute drive, but definitely worth it. There's quite a bit to look at here and it overlooks the town. Let's see if I can find uh, an image online to throw up here for you uh, for you guys to at least get a little better better look at what it's like. And for all of you hikers, you can actually hike all the way from there, from Cannon Beach uh, to Seaside. Not exactly one of the, not exactly for the faint of heart, uh, that, that trail gets blown out quite a bit, but uh, definitely one of the more scenic hikes along the Oregon coast. I should also mention this too, actually, uh, big news uh, from Cannon Beach recently was uh, there was a mountain lion that was actually out on Haystack Rock. They actually had to close the beach down. I'm sure that wasn't easy given how many people are out there. Not something that you see too often, but you do see elk and quite a bit of other wildlife here. The other downside right now that the city is struggling with is uh, the home values here are very, very high. In fact, homes are a little bit more expensive here than, than really probably anywhere else along the Oregon coast. So it makes it difficult for the people that work here uh, to be able to afford to live here. So most of the people that are working here are actually not living here, probably living in Seaside, like I said, about 20 minutes to the north of us. The city uh, in 2019 decided not to renew some of the unlimited or the five-year short-term rental permits. Right now there's just over 200 short-term rental permits. Beyond that, there's gonna be a lot of homes that are just second homes for people. So like I mentioned, there's probably not a whole lot of people actually living here full time. So it does give it a really touristy vibe. It really has kind of the most, I would say, quaint and sort of quintessential Oregon coast feel to it out of probably any other towns along the Oregon coast. A lot of the homes here have a cedar shake siding, which also kind of gives it that quintessential coastal feel. As far as the real estate market goes, I pulled recent real estate data for you to get a feel for what homes here are selling for. So for the past six months, there's been about 12 homes that have been sold. Uh, average was 1.26 million. The median was 1.07 million. The high was 2.75 million. The low was uh, just 575,000. Beyond that house uh, that was 575, a lot of the other lows fall into the 800s. So again, this is gonna be one of the most expensive towns along the Oregon coast. It's also not typically a whole lot of inventory because quite frankly, there's just not a whole lot of homes here. There were four condos sold here in the last four months. Average there was 514, median was 517, the low being 399 and uh, the high being 625. 
see if I can avoid running into any more people and getting run over by a car here. I'm not sure it's the best idea to be walking around in downtown Cannon Beach right now with this many people. Again, we're at the peak of the season right now. It is Hood to Coast this weekend as well. If you're not familiar with Hood to Coast, one of the longest uh, walking, running relays, uh, if not the longest, uh, in the United States. You start uh, at Mount Hood, as the name implies, and it ends in Seaside. So I'm not gonna get as busy here, but uh, Seaside is gonna be absolutely slammed in a couple of days. Now, another thing I should point out uh, about this town is, unlike a lot of other towns along the Oregon coast, it's actually off of the 101. So the 101 doesn't go right through it, like it does Seaside, for example. Most of those towns uh, tend to experience a little bit more congestion for this reason. Have to get off the 101 to get into Cannon Beach, but despite that, it is, like I said, very congested. Probably took me about 20 minutes to park when I got here. I'm gonna take you up into the air with some drone footage and give you a much better feel for the city. But like I mentioned, just walking through, very, very crowded. Definitely worth it though. If you've never been here before, definitely come check out Cannon Beach. Like I said, it really does sort of epitomize the best of the Oregon coast. All right, uh, admittedly, that was one of the rougher vlogs I've shot before. Normally when we're out and about walking around, Try and avoid the crowd so you don't bump into anybody and get run over by a car, kind of like I mentioned. Uh, but I just decided to keep the footage. Uh, the reason for kind of the, the beach hair there, the disheveled look, I actually just got back from walking down to a Haystack Rock. From where I was at in downtown Cannon Beach, it's probably about uh, maybe a 15-minute walk uh, to Haystack Rock. I would recommend if you can if you can do it if you can find a parking spot there is actually parking directly across from Haystack Rock. I think the sign just says like a Haystack Rock public parking. A lot easier than uh, humping it all the way from from downtown Cannon Beach to the rock. It doesn't look that far, but w once you get out there and start walking it's it's quite a walk, especially if you have small children with you, uh which in this case I did. Probably a little bit too long of a walk uh for kids that are uh under 5. So I mentioned uh, accommodations, uh, short-term rentals here. Uh, I didn't mention the hotels, though. There are quite a few waterfront uh, hotels, uh, sort of like you see just down below there. There's a couple right there. In fact, I think that first one, the larger one with all the grass that you see right there, I think that's actually the uh, Stephanie Inn. You've got two-star to four-star. Uh, that one is one of the, I think there's just a couple four-stars there. So pr pretty much every price range uh, that you could... Uh, you know, that you could want uh, in Cannon Beach. So a lot of accommodations, they're not all waterfront, but there's a lot waterfront if you want to be waterfront. The rest of them are really close to downtown, so pretty much all of them are going to be walkable. What you're looking at now, we're facing south. So heading south, this uh, area is actually uh, known as uh, Tolavana uh, Park. And then if you continue on, uh, you'll get down to, uh, to Arch Cape. Now we're facing back north. That landmass that you can see beyond Haystack Rock off into the distance in the horizon stretching out into the ocean, that is Tillamook Head, which is where Ecola State Park is. And just on the other side of that uh, is going to be Seaside. One thing you'll probably also notice about uh, from this drone footage is that all of the homes here have very close proximity to the beach, which is what also increases the home values. Sometimes we get people uh, looking for homes that are you know, maybe 20 or 30 minutes away from the beach. Uh, there's just going to be a handful of towns uh, along the Oregon coast that, that might fit that description. A lot of towns along the Oregon coast are going to have homes that are probably no more than five, six, seven minutes from the beach. It's just not that developed that further inland. So if you have questions about Cannon Beach or really anywhere along the Oregon coast, like I've mentioned, we cover Astoria to Brookings. There's a lot of great towns along the Oregon coast, of course, but uh, Cannon Beach is definitely uh, one of my favorites. Has been since I was a kid. So I'm a licensed broker in the state of Oregon. We've helped a lot of people relocate or buy second homes along the Oregon coast. If you're somebody that's thinking about taking the next step, if you have questions, you can call, text, email, or you can find a link in the description of this video on YouTube to schedule a Zoom call with us, which is typically the way a lot of people that uh, first meet us. And you can also hit that QR code that you see if you're watching from TV. That'll take you to our website where you can find more information, including our contact information. And like I've mentioned, if you want to see more videos about what it's like to live along the Oregon coast, make sure and subscribe. Until next time, take care, everyone.